name is Peter Chu. I am the artistic director and owner of the Chu This Group, and I am currently also a dancer for the company Kid Pivot. Uh, it's a contemporary company based in contemporary dance company based in Vancouver and Frankfurt, Germany, Vancouver, uh, British Columbia. So life after Juilliard, I realized uh, a huge obstacle for me. Uh, it was realizing that there was only eight, seven days in the week and not eight. I just need one extra day in the week to get things done. Um, but really, after, after Juilliard, I have a background in commercial dance and concert dance. So blending the two worlds uh, has been a beautiful challenge. But trying to be accessible to concert dance and commercial dance, I've had to find a different way of um, expressing myself. I've, for me, I've, I've tried to fuse both together. But that's not just the, the only challenge that I've been dealing with. It's, um, I'm also self-managing my own career. And throughout um, my concert dance career, I, during summer holidays, winter holidays, I still continue to choreograph and teach on a more commercial setting as well, and um, and direct small films or direct new pieces for my own group called the Judas Group. And I never realized how much work would, would go into that. I've lost a lot of sleep and spent many, many, many hours before I go to the studio of my, my full-time professional job and even turn intermission of a show I'm working on my own outside projects as well. And so self-managing has been the number, number one um, challenge for me. So a couple of year, years ago, in 2008, I formed the True This Group. It's uh, my own uh, production, I call it a production company. It's not just a dance company. And this past year, I won uh, the Capizio Ace Awards for choreography in 2010. And I was asked to do a full evening of my own work. And basically, I won a grant of 15 grand and um, on my own theater to put on my own show. And this gave me the opportunity to start the True This Group, and it was my first full evening. With this first full evening, I tried blending both worlds, and the, the biggest challenge for me was uh, funding. So I had to form this past year the True This Foundation, and running that, a company, and dancing full time has been such a challenge. Many, many, many things. Uh, just, I've just been playing many roles, many different roles. So after winning the Capizio Ace Award this year, I, I did premiere my show about three weeks ago in New York City at the Roseland Ballroom. The stipend was 15 grand, which basically paid for half of my dancers' travel. <laughs> and my 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 biggest challenge in this whole project was to raise about $300,000 for this production. I did it in about 75000 and this, this the foundation had raised half of that, but um, it's pretty much been all on me. Uh, so that's it's been a huge challenge just to raise the money for for this kind of a show. So I have had to self manage since I was 18 years old. Before going to Juilliard, I I've been teaching since I was actually I started coaching gymnastics. I was a gymnast at the age of uh, 15. So that's how I started learning to be more of a teacher and a mentor. But at age 18, I started teaching at dance conventions and competitions. And then I went to Juilliard, and I would continue this um, to help pay for rent while I was at Juilliard. Every weekend or every other weekend, I would go out on the weekends and teach um, and choreograph for dance studios and competitions and festivals, adjudications. So I've learned, um, it's always been a learn as, a, as you go. It's a, been a work in progress. I've learned how to manage myself, be my own agent, write my own contracts. Luckily at Juilliard, I did learn some of this by last year, but I, I feel like I've really been developing this myself since I was 18 years old before going to conservatory. Um, so luckily, that that uh, achieving this since I was 18 years old helped facilitate me to understand the production process of my new my new creation called Nothing Sticks. So I, I do dance for a prestigious company called Kid Pivot. Uh, we are an international touring group. I uh, work with one of the greats. Um, director is Crystal Pite. She's unbelievable and one of my dearest friends. And I'm completely satisfied. I, but how did I get to where I am today as a choreographer, as a director, um, and as a dancer? 
how, how did I form the True This group? Well, I've always had this inner calling, this yearning to to direct, to create, to choreograph. I've been choreographing like dance pieces since I was 12 years old, and I just have this. Uh, and it, I have to. I have. I have so much to say. Uh, it may not always be master masterpieces, but um, I have so much that I want to explore, to say, and to discover, to learn, and that's why I formed the True This group so that it can be a production company for me to um, nurture my my inner calling as a as a as a creator, and um, I could never deny that, and I've always value that that in me that I always listen to what my heart um, heart needs and says and I really feel that by listening to that that's why I am where I am today so it, being self-managing yourself it is so difficult because you are you are your director you are the person this person who schedules things uh, you have to be your own motivator um, but there are definitely so many ups and downs in this career in both worlds concert and commercial just in in an artistic world there's ups and downs uh, but for me I just uh, I look to my family um, I speak to my, my mother uh, she was my first music teacher growing up and she is the one who inspired me to dance as a young boy it wasn't necessarily dance was my calling it was music and she taught me how to play guitar piano and uh, tenor saxophone I played as well so it was the music um, that inspired me to to have this voice uh, as, as an artist and I realized that speaking to my family my sister and my mother uh, when there's ups and downs they they get me through uh, a lot of a lot of challenges that I face as um, as a director of or a self manager of this this company, uh, what do I look to to inspire me? Uh, I go, I, I read, I learn. Um, when I don't know something, I force myself to put it in a creation of mine so that I can really, really understand it. One thing I'm really fascinated now is working with uh, more projection work, more digital work, more. I guess you would say hologram work eventually if I have the funding <laughs> it would be great to explore more of the three-dimensional hologram um, uh, lighting and work in a, in a theatrical setting so that's what I'm motivated to do so I'm trying to figure out ways to to tap into that now and study that now with all the small creations that I'm doing and then eventually when I have the funding I'll be able to move up to uh, using pure hologram work so I just keep learning is, is I keep studying I'm, I'm just like a, a sponge for life I'm a student for life I'm, I'm soaking in everything that I, I can get from this world from that world and then I nurture it and then I make it my own so to me just living life and uh, understanding that I'm learning from everything keeps me motivated every single day so how do I deal with ups and downs in the career and truly I, I feel like I since I do so much in both worlds I don't have time to to focus on the the down moments in this career yes sometimes there's things that jab at you but I, I don't have time to dwell on them I have to keep on moving forward and that motivation in me yes I listen to them sometimes but um, that motivation of just keep moving forward has has kept me to keep progressing in my career so really there are no there's not much time for me to to dwell on the down moments dealing with the down moments in in this artistic career I uh, one main thing is I don't really have time to deal with it I just keep moving forward there's I'm so busy in my career that uh, I don't have time to wallow but just thinking about this it, it does naturally come out of my work so when there's a down moment or a negative moment um, it may not wallow uh, physically as I'm working but it does come out artistically in a, a creation that I'm creating um, I, I can't, I can't uh, deny that I can't hide it when I'm creating because I'm so open as an artist uh, just like anyone I have to uh, you're vulnerable as a creator as a dancer as an artist you always put yourself out there so naturally it does that's my therapy that is my therapy in life is is dancing is creating and that's how I learn I learn from each piece that I make in uh, every year every month and for, for me one piece is a laboratory for the next and I keep learning from them so that is my way of uh, letting the negative energy or the down moments in this artistic career to to chill out.